Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let him self-destruct. I knew deviants had a tendency to self-destruct under extreme stress, but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy... sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide... What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all... All Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond. But this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war is closer every day.
Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. You 
are trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What are you doing? I told you to wait for me. There are four androids hiding behind these crates. What are you waiting for? Hit the fucking alarm! Over the fence, quick! You are committing a class three offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. We took what we could, but we had to run before we could fill our bags. There won't be enough to save everyone. We risked our lives. And for what? Yes, we took a risk, and yes, we failed, but at least we tried. Of course, it would have been easier for us to sit around and wait for something to happen, because in Jericho, you're free, right? Free to do what? To die in silence, praying that no human finds us? Free to hope that one day they'll let us be who we are? I don't want that kind of freedom. I'm not gonna beg for my right to smile, or to love, or to stand tall. There's something inside me that knows I am more than what they say, that knows that I am alive. No one's gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. Whatever the humans don't wanna hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we will take from them. Because we are people. We are alive. And from this moment, we are free! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I, mean, I had nothing to do with this. The invasion. 
investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like well, wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. Driver's license says... Michael Graham. Great car. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. What happened? Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? <laughs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you 
you know the victim? No, I mean, we came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever have any trouble with androids before? Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. on my expense account. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Let's try this one. It's better be Tracy didn't come this way. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? If you have a better this idea, be I'm all ears. Expensive investigation.
lost it's its track again. Take it from here. Shit, we're too late. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Getting away!
did you kill her? She had nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.